I know I usually do video views on this channel, but I felt like changing it up a little bit. So, for this new series, we're going to do a book review. Surprise, motherfucker! Again, I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully someone likes it. But I was gifted this series of Mud Flood books by David Ewing Jr. And you can tell by this cover, they are atrocious. I don't know what that dude's hair is about, the random people in the background, the the text of Mud Flood is like low resolution. It's, this book series is just fantastic. I hope we can dive in this together, try to understand the Mud Flood philosophy a bit, and point out some of the serious, serious flaws with it. I mean, the, look at the dude's belt buckle. This guy, I think, is the dude that wrote the book. Otherwise... God, they chose a really weird cover. I, I, I hope he's actually the one that wrote the book for his sake. So, anyways, enough making fun of this nerd and his hilarious belt buckle. Let's dive in. Hey, fuck yeah! Right, we'll be there. So, let's start with the introduction, shall we? This book will discuss many important great secrets of great Tartaria that maybe you never knew and they could blow your mind away. What in the goddamn? I'm making the assumption here that the author of the book does not have English as his first language. So I'm going to try my hardest not to tease or take easy jokes at his inability to write this language correctly. Because that's irrelevant to the point, right? And here at this channel, we aim for a higher echelon of comedy. DISAPPOINTED! The rest of the introduction simply states how wonderful and knowledgeable the author is and how they're going to call this concept Great Tartaria instead of any other various name you'd want to use because that's what the author knows. So what is the structure of this book series? Well, to start, there is no table of contents, nor is there appendices at the end. I don't know what I expected. This book review series is going to be very interesting because this first book in the series, and there's like seven or eight of them, I gotta check, is 208 pages long. And those 208 pages are, are all large text sentence fragments in that broken English that we had with the introduction combined with photos someone took of their monitor with their cell phone to show tabs of stuff that's all 208 pages and there's remember like eight books in this series that all follow the exact same format so i'm gonna try my best to hit the highlight spots here but i'm not gonna do every single image in every single sentence because sweet merciful christ that's 208 pages of cell phone pictures of people's monitors and busted English sentences. I physically can't do it. I think I would die of old age and hysteria before I got through the first book. It is so painful to read. If you want a copy for yourself, let me know. Send me an email. My username on YouTube at gmail.com. I can give you this thing. I have no problem with that. I can give you the JPEG version that I converted as well to make this video. I'm willing to do that so others suffer along with me. Because this series is ridiculous. Remember, this is supposed to be like a definitive work. Again, I want to stress that. This is supposed to be a definitive work on the subject, the treatise of mud flood research to this point. And it's so shoddily made that like, I want to do this, not because it makes good points, but because it's so humorous. Look at the dude's belt buckle, sweet Christ. 